Sum up your, your World Cup for us, um, how, how have you found it? Oh, it's been uh, some mixed emotions at times, you know, some some huge highs and then some some lows, you know, not quite managing to get over the line. Um, but it's been it's been an amazing experience. Uh, just to be part of it was a lifelong dream, and and uh, I and I think I speak for everyone else in our team when when I say that uh, it is just that. And um, you know, it's been you know it, it's sad to sad to leave the the uh, well leave Hobart. Um, I mean, not just for yourself, but for the team and a lot of people who watch cricket around the world. That that 150 plus you scored against Bangladesh is is one of the talking points of the tournament. I mean, just um, refresh our memories. Uh, what was going through your mind as you were putting that score together, and indeed how important it was for you as well? Yeah, uh, I mean, it was uh, and for me one of the best innings I'll probably ever play, and and. Uh, um, you know, it was a, a highlight of the tournament for me. Um, you know, it was just you know, full of pride to play for Scotland and go out on that field and put together an innings um, of that sort was you know, was was really pleasing. Um, obviously, very um, unfortunately, we weren't quite able to get over the line. But I guess I guess for me, um, it was nice to nice to get um, back to some form. Um, you know, I've had a good run of things throughout this this entire winter with the the, the tour leading up to the World Cups. Uh, World Cup and uh, then obviously at the World Cup and the, the warm-up games um, so it's nice to get those runs behind my name and really uh, really show people that you know you know everyone has uh, bad runs of form but um, you come out the other end of them and, and really prove prove a few people wrong. I mean, obviously you're referring to your form perhaps of last year so you're saying it's the real Kyle Kutzer we've seen at this World Cup? Yeah I, I think so you know um, I, I would hope that uh, you know my career stats will show that you know last year was a bit of a blip, um, you know, and, and everyone's entitled to that. You know, everyone everyone has their ups and downs in their career, and and last year was just unfortunately was unfortunately mine, and um, you know it was a tough one to take, and um, you know it was like I said, it was nice to show people that you know that I've still got a lot to offer um, in the cricketing world, and and to do it at this stage was you know um, you know very make you know very good for me. Yeah, just just talk about your situation then with, with North Hant uh, and what the, the future holds. Well, I think um, it was clearly uh, documented last year that um, unfortunately a number of us were um, suggested that we could maybe move on, and unfortunately I was one of those. Um, you know, my my position is you know I've just got to try and score as many runs as I can, and um, you know try and fight my way back into that uh, lineup. Um, if it's not to be, then you know fingers crossed. You know my uh, my situation. Will, you know, it'll it'll be it's it's in my hands, really, isn't it? You know, I've I've got to score as many runs and, and do as well as I can. And um, I think sometimes it goes unnoticed that uh, um, you know I've got a lot to offer to to younger players, and uh, um, whether it be at Scotland or it be at North Ants or wherever uh, my career takes me in the end, um, I've got a lot to offer because. Uh, you know, it goes unnoticed. I have actually won two county championships, won a division, division, it was second division title, um, won the T20, and actually won a 50 over competition. So, um, and also now being part of a World Cup, which is, uh, you know, a huge, huge honour of mine. And um, yeah, I, I just fingers crossed that people now can see that back home, and and uh, you know, I can try and push my way back into into the Northants team.